It took a while, but I finally have access to GPT-4 Vision and DALL-E. Today, I'm going to show you some of the most impressive things that this can do. For some amazing prompts to try, click the link in the description. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have GPT-4 activated. So down here at the bottom of my screen, where you type in the prompts, you'll see now that there's this icon to where you can attach images. That's exactly what we're going to do today. And I'll first start by attaching an image that you could see down here at the bottom. I attached an image of Pikachu. First thing we're going to do is ask ChatGPT what is this image about? Awesome, pretty impressive so far. It knew that this was an image of Pikachu. Let's take it a step further and then try one more thing a little bit more complex. Now I'm gonna upload this image right here and see if it can give me a more detailed synopsis of what this could be. So now down here at the bottom, I have it uploaded. Let's go ahead and type in my command. I said, give me a detailed description of this image, please. Now check it out, you can see GPT is starting to give me a detailed synopsis on what all four of these are. It's basically breaking it down by each of the four quadrants. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is see how well that this can depict and determine what sort of prompt was used to make a specific image. In this case, this could be something similar to using the describe command in Midjourney. Down here at the bottom, I'm gonna hit that photo upload again, and this time I'm gonna go ahead and add a image I made with a prompt for a supercar. So what I'm gonna say is what sort of text to image prompt prompt would I use to create this image and I put doll E and then as you can see just like that it gets to work a luxury sports car parked on a wet urban street during twilight with tall buildings glowing lights and a person walking in the background okay not bad so what I'll do is I'm actually going to take this and I'll remember this and we'll actually try this prompt using doll E now another thing it can do is recognize movies and then my question or my prompt this time is simply going to be is this a good movie oh now check this out now it says the image you provided appears from the wolf of wall street directed by Martin Scorsese. Now, another helpful thing it can do is determine what location is being shown in a photo. Have you ever noticed a beautiful skyscraper setting or a beautiful setting period and you think to yourself, I wonder where this is located? Now we can do that directly within ChatGPT. Check this out. So I have a photo down here below. Now I'm going to ask it, where is this? Okay, now, wow, that is very impressive, and it got it exactly right. This is a view of the Hong Kong skyline at night, featuring the Victoria Harbor and prominent skyscrapers such as the International Finance Center, IFC, and the Bank of China Tower. Pretty impressive. Now let's take things a little bit further and then make things a little bit more tougher for ChatGPT. So I uploaded a photo of a math problem from the SAT test. And then I just simply asked it, solve this math problem, please. Okay, and then there you have it. So not only does ChatGPT just give you the simple answer, it actually provides exactly how it got it. So next, I want to give ChatGPT a photo of a plant or a flower and then ask it, what type of plant or flower is this? And based off of this image, how exactly should I care for this plant? So I uploaded this photo photo when I said, what kind of plant is this and how should I care for it? And then automatically it says, this is an image of a bouquet of tulips. And then ChatGPT proceeds to give me directions and not just simply, but they're giving me the directions in multiple steps on how to actually care for this vase of tulips. I now uploaded a photo of some shoes and I'm going to ask it, what kind of shoes are these? And then based off this image, let's see if it knows. Oh wow, got it exactly right. The shoes in this image appear to be a variant of the Nike Air Jordan 4. The distinctive mesh, wing eyelets, and sole design are characteristic features of the Jordan 4 silhouette. Now here's another very impressive one. Let's create a workout simply based off of the photo I just uploaded. So here's the photo I uploaded and I said, given this equipment, can you make me a weekly workout schedule? And wow, check this out, it's getting right at it. And now it's going with day one lower body, day two upper body. Now moving on, what I really wanna do is show you guys how to actually create and craft prompts based off of an image too, that you can actually use in DALL-E, Leonardo AI, Midjourney, or any other AI generating app of your choice. I'll bring in a photo of this cheeseburger right here. And then the prompt I'll use is analyze the image and provide a text to image prompt suitable for DALL-E. Let's go ahead and hit enter here, see if it can figure out what this is. Okay, now there you have it. it gave us this prompt, photorealistic image of a cheeseburger with juicy patty. I have Dolly activated. So now what I'll do is I'm going to type in just simply the word photo and then put a colon. Now, once I have that photo and colon down here at the bottom, just paste the prompt that I just copied. Now watch this. It automatically detects it. Let's just be a little bit patient and then see what it can come up with. And boom, look, just like that, it gave me these images in Dolly. Amazing. It gave us four. Here are the images of the cheeseburger with accompanying fries and cherry tomatoes. Nice. So watch this. 
So then you could even take this prompt and let's just head over to Leonardo AI. I have the prompt already pasted using photo real. Now I'm going to remove the word cheeseburger and I'm going to change it up. And I said a photorealistic image of a Philly cheesesteak instead. So if I come back over here to Dali while we're waiting on Leonardo AI, let's just take a look at some of these photos right here. I'm very impressed with the photo realism that Dali was able to make off these cheeseburgers. But then over here on the right hand side, once you click and expand each image, you could look at all the prompts that were used to create it. Each photo, all four of them, will have a separate prompt. Back over here in the Leonardo AI, I then changed the keyword from cheeseburger to a Philly cheesesteak and then look, just like that, it did a pretty good job. I hope you can use some of these very cool features I just showed you to kind of create some own masterpieces of your own. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah.